Hey guys, this is Jack here with How We Roll RV. Today we are here with Stargazer, our AR1 Max. Um, we're going to be doing a walkthrough today, showing you guys some things you may need to know for your rental, um, as well as answer any questions anyone may have. So if you'll follow me, the first thing that you'll notice is we have an electric um, jack on the front of this camper. So you can raise the camper or lower the camper. And then you also have a light right there, so that way it'll shine down onto your connections if you're connecting at night it makes it nice we provide all of the connections you need um, for travel uh, to hook up the only thing you'll need to bring is make sure your tow vehicle has a two inch receiver as well as a seven way light connector which looks just like this right here the other thing that we provide is we have two propane tanks on here and you can switch either of these propane tanks out so when you have your when you get your reservation there will be um, sufficient level of propane in each of these tanks and what you do is, if one of them runs out, all you do is close the tank that ran out, switch it over to the tank that has more propane, turn it on, and make sure it's going toward, this is turned toward the propane tank that has propane, turn it on, and then you'll be able to have more propane. So now if you follow me, this right here is gonna be your outdoor storage area. This is where all of your connections um, that we provide are here for you. You also have a clip right here to be able to hold up your door just like that. And these are all of your connections in here. Um, so we provide a uh, water hose, an elbow for the water hose, a pressure reducer valve for the water. We also provide the 30 amp to 110 adapter in case you're at home, the electrical cord. Uh, we also provide a few things for uh, leveling as well as um, a cable, a coax cable for um, watching TV. And then if you'll follow me, this right here is going to be where your water fill is. And all you have to do is take your water hose and connect it right here. And then that way you can fill your water reservoir up. Now if you'll follow me, this right here is your electrical connection. Right now I've got it connected at our shop so that way I, I'll be able to walk through and show you everything. All this does is this just clicks on just like that. And then the other end plugs into the uh, campsite breaker box. This right here is going to be your coax cable connection for TV. And then you also have your city water connection right here in case you need to connect for water or anything. And then right back here, we have your spare tire right here. And I forgot one thing up underneath right here. That is where your sewer connection is going to be. So you connect your sewer hose here. And then you have a black and a gray uh, flush right, right where you're able to empty the tanks out. So now if you'll follow me, right over here, this is going to be your outdoor area. You have two plugs right here um, to plug in a TV, your phones, or whatever you need. Um, and then to open the door here, all we do is just pull this out like this. And then this here flips over. And then you just open your door just like that and then you have a screen door here so come on in here so you want to make sure that that door is locked or it'll end up flipping open like that so that's from wind it does that sometimes but right in here let's take a look at our main control panel in this camper right here this is going to be where you check all the levels in the camper so on the camper you have a fresh water holding tank this is going to be where your uh, water pump gets its water and then you also have your black tank which is your sewer waste water and your gray tank which is your sink and shower waste water and then you have your battery which runs the lights as well as um, the awning the water pump those things so if we want to check out our battery here we just press and hold this and you can see our battery is filled up right here it's all the way full our fresh tank is empty and it will be full upon your um, pickup for your reservation. You'll also have your black tank empty um, and your gray tank will be empty. Um, but the black tank sometimes toilet paper will get stuck on the sensors so it'll show different but just know when you pick up it will be empty. You also have your water pump switch right here so if you're not connected to water and you want water all you have to do is just make sure you have water inside of the tank and then flip the water pump switch and let it run and then you should have flowing water. Then if you also want hot water all you have to do is turn this water heater switch on here give it about 25 20-25 minutes and you should have hot water. 
Now, on the outside out here, we have our awning for the camper. And all of our awnings for our units are all automatic. All you have to do to extend it is just press the extend button or press the retract button and just hold it until it gets to the spot you'd like it. We also have two light switches in here. One is for our outdoor light strip and the other is for our inside lights. And these run off of your battery. Um, now, as far as electrical goes, if for some reason you have a loss of power and you cannot run any of the electrical plugs in the camper, all these type of plugs like this run off of the power that you're plugged into at the campground. So you'll want to make sure that first that the breaker at the campground is flipped to the on position. The second thing is you can come in here and this is our GFI plug. If it trips like that, you want to come in and reset it because if that is not reset, none of the plugs in the camper will work. The other thing is, is right back here next to the bunk, you have an access point to take a look at your breakers and fuses. You want to check and make sure all your breakers are flipped on. And then this right here is 12 volt system. So if for some reason the awning's not working or something like that, it could possibly be one of these fuses. And we do provide tools to check those and we provide some fuses to change in case you need to do that. Um, so that is that right there. Um, now in the kitchen here, super easy to operate. We open our drawer here and we provide a few basic kitchen utensils here for you. Um, the only things you'll need to bring is um, paper cups, plates, and bowls, as well as plastic silverware. Um, and then, really, that's all you'll need to bring. We, we already provide everything else for you uh, as far as, like, pots and pans. We do have the basics in here for you for those. Um, those are all listed on our website as well. And then for this right here, all you have to do is we provide a lighter. You just take this and turn this to light and take your lighter and light the stove top here. And then to turn it to off, just turn it right back to off. And then this right here is your refrigerator. Now it's a little bit different than a residential refrigerator. This runs off of propane and electric as well. So all you do to start this refrigerator is we'll open this panel here. And as of right now, I don't have propane turned on, but I'll demonstrate to you how you can start this to run it off propane. So. When you pick up the camper, it will already be lit and will be running off propane. All you have to do, though, is switch this knob to propane, which is that right there. Um, this right here is your temperature for propane. I always like it on high, just because that makes it to where um, it's going to be the coldest. All you do is press in right here, and then you click this spark button about five to ten times while you're pressing this, and then this right here the red should start to go into the green. Once it's in the green, you'll press and hold this for another five or 10 seconds, let go, and then it should begin to cool. And it takes, um, from the time you do that, if you haven't had it cold, it takes about five hours for it to get cold, um, but that is how you operate the, uh, the propane. Now, if you go to a campsite or you're plugged in somewhere and want to use your refrigerator, all you do is flip this knob to electric right here and then this right here is your cold setting for the electric. I always like to make sure it's near the coldest because, you know, we like our stuff cold. So then that is your refrigerator right there. And then to open it, you just have a little button here to open. And then to close, just press it shut just like that. Um, there's also a little freezer inside of the refrigerator as well. Um, the other thing that I'll show you back here, this is our heat right here for the camper. So right now it's a little chilly. So if you do need heat, all you have to do is pull this right here back towards you and then move this right here to the temperature that you want. So up is hotter, down is colder. And then to turn it off, just press it back like that. Um, it's a little tough, but don't worry, you, you won't break it. And then for your air conditioning, your air conditioning is right up overhead here and it's actually got dials on it to use. This right here, all you do is just, you can select your temperature right here. So that's hotter, that's colder and then you have your fan settings, low cool and high cool, and then you can go back to off. So just like that. And then right back here, this is our bathroom right back here. So we have our toilet here, and all you do to flush the toilet is just press this belt, uh, press that all the way down and it'll flush. And then you have your um, shower right here, nice shower curtain, 
Um, anytime you do take a shower in the camper, make sure you open the vent. Um, and you want to do that just to let the steam out because it does get steamy in the campers. The other thing is, in the bathroom, the light switch, there's no light switch on the wall. There's a button on the ceiling, though, right there. So that's how you'll use the uh, lights in the bathroom here. Um, the other thing that I forgot to mention is that you do have a microwave in here. So there's your microwave, operates just like at home. And then you also have four beds in this camper. You have your queen bed up front, as well as your two bunks back here. And then the last bed you have is the dinette bed right here. And all we do to turn that into a bed is we're going to tilt our table up. And these legs just fold in on top of each other, just like so. Just like that. And I take the Velcro and just kind of secure them. This right here, you will tip back and then take your table and set that right into those grooves, just like that. Then take your cushions and go ahead and lay them flat like this. Just like so. And then you have your bed for the kitchen. Um, really, that's all I have to show you. But if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. Our number is 423-292-2658. Thanks. Have a great day.